Sam Lowe here for irishboxing.com. Delighted to be joined by European champion Kelly Harrington. Another one to the collection, Kelly. How do you feel? It feels absolutely great to be honest, Sam. Like to be out here with a team of ten boxers to come away with seven medals and three the three girls who didn't get medals were just pipped like they were yeah. they were right there, you know. Were so they all uh, beaten by the winners? Were they all beaten by the winners or two of them were beaten by the winners I think, were they? I I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure. Yeah, but all so. I know is performances were absolutely fantastic out there. Really, really like yeah. just it was incredible that everybody got to perform well, you know, like yeah. it was just unfortunate that some of them were pipped at the just at the medal stages, you know. So. How? Let's touch on that stuff for a minute. Like, how proud are you? Because you, let's be fair here. You're the leader of that team. You're the Olympic champion, the world champion. You're the leader. These guys look up to you, which is I've already had Christina say that to me. Like, how proud are you to see how far the women's team has come and see how successful and everyone is kind of they're raising their game to match what like the, what you've laid out and what Kelly laid out or sorry, you hear me, Katie laid out before you. How proud are you to be even be in this team and be leading these kind of teams? To be honest, uh, like I could have walked away after Tokyo, you know, but I didn't want to because this is what I want. This is I want to be a part of this. Yeah. I I can I, I see this happening, you know, like but I want to be a part of it. I want to be the marker as well, you know, get the girls there, and then like I'll be just on my way out then, you know, yeah. like but uh, it's I'm absolutely I've been here for a very long time. A very very long time, like box about 17 years or so now. Yeah. And to be a part of this, it's just you know, like this is the stuff that dreams are made of. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, talking about your own performance for a minute. I watched your final today. Really good. I had to catch up on it, but really good performance. Were you happy with how you performed throughout the tournament, or was it a case of say getting the job done, or how, how did you feel you you got on yourself? It was a case of getting the job done, and I hadn't been out since February. Uh, since the Stranger tournament and yes, yeah. I was a bit like a nervous you know like a, I'm only human um, so I was anxious I was nervous I was wondering how it was going to go first fight I, I drew uh, Hamadouche in the first fight and I was yeah. like ah oh. like when you draw Hamadouche or someone like Hamadouche you know you're, you have your, your work cut out for you yeah. um, so I, I just to be honest with you anything after that was just like I'll take whatever, and I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna kill myself in any fights because I've just had a war, you know. Like it was Definitely. that was three rounds of non let up with Hamadou. So anything after that was like, just thank God I'm, I've got through the first one, and we'll, yeah. we'll take it from there. And especially uninjured as well with such a high pressure, high pace fight. Definitely. Um, you've added the European Championship to your Olympic gold medal, your World Championship. How does that feel? That's like triple champion, all the major ones that a, an Irish boxer can win. How do you, like, what does that feel like? Has it sunk in or do you allow yourself to think about things like that? No, I, I like, it just feels like any other thing to be very honest with you. It's kind of, like, it's crazy because I was actually only saying to John there on the plane, you know, like you train for these things and you're, you're up, you're up, you're up. And as soon as the fight is over, it's like, like, boom straight away like and I, I don't know what way to feel after a fight you know there is no I, I don't I don't know you know like and yeah, I get you. It's, it's just like I just want to get back and spend some time with my family and straight away I'm already thinking about next year and about those girls like my the, the whole point of this tournament for me was to be able to see who's going to be in the qualifiers the European qualifiers next year and that's a really good marker for me being out there so I'll start working on that now. I'm gonna have two or three weeks off, but I'll be back with me with my club coach now. Work, and I'll start working on that with him, on those girls and on strategies and ways to to perform against them. You know. So Paris is very much in sight, yeah. Paris is in sight. I'm look. I'm gonna give it a bash. Like um, if I get there, I get there. I I'm not putting pressure on myself. I've already achieved everything that has to be achieved in amateur boxing. That's it. Um, so if I get to Paris it would be an extra bonus with that. Like people might think like uh, if I get there I get there. No, I will give it absolutely everything, but I'm trying to take a, a more chilled, you know, approach to I get, it. I get you, know, I get like, you. Not put pressure on myself. Yeah, exactly. You kind of you've achieved what you've achieved yeah. already and let's take the pressure off yeah. in yeah. your own head and yeah. then that might actually help you to yeah. kind of get where you want to get. Exactly, yeah. So I will ask you uh, one question. 
about the professionals. Obviously, you have achieved everything in the amateurs, and we know that you're going to go for Paris. But is the professionals something that you've say reconsidered? I heard you talking about it before. Yeah. Um, and you kind of maybe alluded to it. maybe the offer will have to be absolutely outstanding to make you consider it. What are your thoughts on going pro now? And you know, the likelihood is that at such a high level amateur boxer, you'd probably be quite successful. The, the profile of women's professional boxing is rising all the time. What's your thoughts on it now? Um, to be very honest with you, like I don't really want to be boxing after 2024. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, like half. I half think like maybe I might like it, but I put so many years into boxing. I think after 2024, I think that would be it. I'd be done. Okay. And. If there's a role for me in, in coaching, I would love to have that role as a, as a female coach uh, in the high performance setup, of course. Um, and I feel that, like, I feel I'm not blowing smoke, but I feel like I, I could bring a lot to the table, like, you know, course, with me experience course, alone, you know, like, and I know what. I know what other female athletes are going through because I'm going through it myself, you know, so I can relate to them, but I can also push them as well, you know, because I know I need to be pushed as well, even when there's some stuff going on, you know, so, um, I understand. yeah. Like, I understand, yeah, absolutely. You know where certain limitations exactly, lie, you yeah, know where, yeah. when you can push and yeah, when you can't, exactly, yeah, That's yeah. amazing. Um, yeah, it's always an interesting one for us because you're obviously, I mean, you're a superstar athlete now in Ireland, so the, the pros and stuff like that, it's, it's something that people think about. Um, it's interesting to hear you talk about about coaching which is uh, probably really refreshing it's gonna ensure that the, the younger generations coming up have this role model that doesn't just fall away from the sport but actually continues to help them to achieve what you've achieved so that's amazing but we have so many like boys and girls right like I'm not just gonna be all about the women but we have boys as well there but with the girls coming up now like it's just like you've seen it just there in the European Championships like it's phenomenal, you know, and now we have the youth uh, world championships coming up as well in November in Spain. Like, it's just going from strength to strength, and I just want to be a part of that. I want to be able to give my little input into that as well, you know. And I've already said it to a couple of the, even young Ava Henry there, I, I, I was speaking to her, like, I spoke to her when she came home, and she, she messaged me there uh, actually last night, and I was saying to her, look, when I'm retired, I'm going to be there for a helping hand if you need it. I will be there, like, and That's make no, no, no doubt about that. I will be there for any of them who need it, the help I can, I, if I can give it, I'll give it, you know. That's amazing. That's great to hear. Very, very, very last thing I'm going to ask you is, hey, the Taylor fights next weekend. Are you going to be present for it? Are you going to watch it? Um, what do you think of that matchup? Do you know her opponent? I'm not going to lie. I have no idea who her opponent is. Because uh, I'm not, I don't really watch the pro side so much, yeah. so much but I, I don't know who her opponent is but I'm going to take it that Katie's going to win and she's going to do the job because she's absolutely amazing she's a fantastic athlete and uh, I'll, I'll uh, if it's on at a sensible hour I'll, I'll watch it but uh, uh, is it in it's in London ah yeah well, I'll watch it be. definitely watch it yeah yeah we'll be yeah. watching it me and, and the family will watch it yeah yeah, Perfect. yeah, yeah. Kelly thank you so much for talking thanks to Irish Boxing you've no idea how much we appreciate uh, it geez, honest to God and, thanks uh, for all the support that you have given I, Irish Boxing over the years it's been much appreciated you know when there's been no one else there you have been there and yeah. we, all, we all noticed that so don't think that we don't we do now well that's great to hear and especially for Johnny Stable and editor, editor in chief and Joe O'Neill, they definitely appreciate those comments because they've been in it from the start and in yeah. it for years, and all the guys who came before them. So thank you very much for those kind words. We appreciate it. Well done on becoming thank European you. champion. Thank you. Thank